I'm Dr. Ozzy with the Functional Medicine and Wellness Center. Thanks for joining us. We're going to talk about adrenals, little top, little kid, uh, glands that sit on top of your kidneys, and we're going to talk about blood sugars a little bit as well. Um, a lot of people coming in today very stressed. They're even talking about adrenals and those stress glands. Um, and when we look at that, we can be physically stressed, mentally stressed, chemically stressed, just stress. Um, and a lot of people just think about the mental emotional stress, but there's all those three different things and they kind of just hammer those adrenals. I'm going to fight or I'm going to run away. And we're really not meant to be there. Fight or flight is basically catabolic. It breaks your body down. It's pro-aging, pro-disease, pro pretty much everything bad. And the, um, we want to make sure we're more in kind of a parasympathetic or a, or a calming uh, uh, of the nervous system down, right? Where we get those adrenals working well and doing what they should be doing and getting those stresses off them so we're not constantly in fight or flight. I have lots and lots and lots of patients tell me, Doc, I'm not stressed out. I'm pretty mellow. And I, if you live on planet Earth, you're stressed out. And I'll tell you why. A lot of times we think of stress, we actually have the same stress response from not actually picking up the milk when we're coming home from work or forgetting to do something for our kids or whatever as a zebra being chased by a tiger that's about to get killed. Same exact response. And the amount of cortisol, which again is a very catabolic hormone that breaks your body down, it, it actually breaks down at about 50% every about an hour and a half in people that are actually healthy. It might be even longer in people that are unhealthy, which is most people. So about eight hours after you've had that thought in your head that, oh, I forgot to do this, you still have the same cortisol running through your body, maybe a lot less, but it's still having it run through your body. So 50%, then 25%, then 12.5%, just keeps breaking down as the amount, but it's still there. And I bet in eight hours, you've probably had another stressful thought. I know I have, right? So all of those things start to, again, break down the body, it's catabolic. Cortisol helps you raise low blood sugars. So it starts to um, make you have sleeping problems, right? So if your cortisol is really high, you tend to be the kind of person, hey, you're jittery, you can't shut your brain off, right? So you can't get to sleep. And the people who have low cortisol levels, they typically are the people that can't stay asleep. And that's those adrenals kind of bouncing around. So they kind of get into an alarm or resistance phase, you're kind of hyped. And then you get into exhaustion phase. You know, I got nothing going on. I can't make it anymore. I can't get through my day. So a couple of things we want to focus on is, again, getting, figure out what the stressors are, trying to remove them as best we can, take pressure off of those adrenals. And then we may have to actually support uh, the adrenals with some type of supplementation, diet, all of that stuff, exercise, all of those kinds of things will help out those adrenals. But again, adrenals, again, that can cause a big problem with cortisol, catabolic, it breaks down your digestive tract. So people have digestive issues, will start to have heartburn and indigestion, because again, your brain just says that, I'm gonna fight, or I'm gonna run. It says, I don't need to digest anything right now. And we even have problems with people with infertility. One in six women can't have babies, right? They're infertility clinics, you know, and we'll see that baby basically with the brain is saying, hey, I don't have to procreate at this moment, right? So if I'm gonna fight or I'm gonna run, I don't need to digest and I certainly don't have, need to have kids. So again, those stressors play into that, men and women, and we gotta start taking a look at that, taking some pressure off those adrenals, um, and there's a lot of other things that go into that as far as what could be going and stressing out the adrenals, and we can talk to that, to that and about that when you come in and see us. So I'm Dr. Ozzy, Functional Medicine and Wellness Center. Hope to see you in.